Hello folks and welcome to Shoe Create Captivate. Today I'm going to share a very quick tip with you all. Um, but before we get on to the nitty gritty of it, I'm going to explain what was going on and what actually happened to me in this case. So um, I had a client's album open here, as you can see, and I was about to or I was exporting images from their raw format into JPEGs as a proof gallery. And I think I had probably about a hundred and something images selected and I was exporting them out of Lightroom. And suddenly my whole system came to almost a dead standstill. And when I checked the CPU usage, I saw it was completely up at 100%. And um, how do we check this? So what we're going to do is we're gonna to go to Alt, Control, Alt, Delete, and you navigate yourself to the task manager and you go to performance. Now I clicked on the performance tab and I saw that the CPU utilization was way up at 100% and it actually stayed there in the entire export process. And I couldn't actually do a single thing other than just watch my screen and watch the images being exported. I couldn't open any windows in the background. I couldn't actually click on and open anything. Um, at that time, I had uh, YouTube playing in the background and even that audio uh, decided to stop. So effectively, Lightroom killed my computer, even with a i9 900k cpu at 5 gigahertz i was running it and i had 64 gig of ram and i thought well what on earth is going on here why has this happened um so i did a little search around and i tried to figure out what was going on and i couldn't find out any solution to this issue i'd optimize lightroom for the best performance and it wasn't performing um, something buggy had happened. So I kind of retraced and, and try to see what had happened in in the days leading up to this issue. Um, number one, I had a, I had an update for Windows and number two, there was also an update for uh, Lightroom and Photoshop. So I figured, well, something must have gone wrong with the configuration and there must be some way to kind of reset Lightroom to its default state and I actually found out how to do that. And it's one of those little tips that not many people know about, okay? One of those little tricks that nobody knows about. So let's close off Lightroom here. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to demonstrate what happens with the CPU usage on an image that's been edited and it's in, 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 the, in, in the Lightroom catalog as a TIFF file. So let's bring up our our uh, task manager here in control oh, delete okay so let's go over to the task manager i'm going to open up the performance and we can actually visually see what happens with the cpu when we export that image okay so i'm going to click on this image and i'm going to export it and watch what happens with the cpu usage here so we'll export and you see that briefly go up and it goes back down again. So that only reached 36%, okay? However, when you actually exporting from the raw image and what happens is, is that um, Lightroom converts that raw image into a JPEG. So let's see what difference there is in CPU usage. All right, so let's export this. Uh, click on export, uh, overwrite and look at that right up to 80 percent and then it drops off again now i had a hundred of those images exporting that day and the cpu usage peaked at 100 percent and it held it there and i couldn't do anything else um, other than watch the screen and die waiting um, okay so in order to overcome this bugginess that many of you might be experiencing at this point in time. Maybe it's in the import process or the export process, or generally trying to edit your image uh, with brushes or whatever. Um, perhaps you've got laggy controls over here or um, you know, navigating from one image to another. It might be lagging for you too. So you can actually reset the settings of Lightroom. You can reset the preferences rather. So I'm gonna close off Lightroom here. All right, do you really want to quit? Yes, I do. Uh, do I run a backup? No, not at this time, so skip this time. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down Shift on the keyboard. I'm going to press down on Alt, 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 and I'm going to come down to my uh, taskbar here, and I'm going to click 
and open Lightroom, right? And you see a new little dialog box pop up like, ooh, where did this come from? It says reset Lightroom preferences. All preferences stored in Lightroom preferences will be reset to their default. So it's kind of like you've reinstalled Lightroom. Your presets and plugins will not be affected. That's pretty awesome actually, because I know in previous occasions where um, we reset the preferences of Lightroom, it kind of took out all the locations for presets and, and plugins. So it was no good. And all you're going to do is click yes, okay. Um, before I continue, I'm actually going to go no in this case. Uh, for those of you on a Mac, you will hold down shift and you'll press the option key and then open Lightroom the same way. All right. And this little dialog box will pop up and you can easily say yes, reset it. In this case, no, because I've already, already done that. And after I actually done that, finally um, Lightroom opened and everything was reset and it was kind of like a fresh installation and I was able to export images. In fact, I was exporting, I think almost a thousand at one point when after that, after I'd done the reset and I was able to actually uh, open other browsers, uh, actually uh, work in other bits of software and I was able to listen to YouTube in the background, some nice awesome music in the background and there was no lag and I saw that the CPU usage only actually reached up to about 80% and it kind of left the other 20% for the operating system and everything was back to normal again. So guys, give it a try. Um, if your Lightroom is giving you issues, try this little one tip, reset uh, your preferences to default. And I'm pretty sure that it's gonna overcome many of those little hiccups that you might be having right now. Um, if this video does help you guys, let me know, uh, let me know in the comments below and um, we'll catch you again in the next session. Cheers for now.